Uh, Professor Bellis, here at uh, the RHN meeting you showed us your research on adverse childhood experiences. Can you tell us uh, something more about this uh, kind of research? We've been looking at all sorts of countries across Europe to see how important the childhood environment, things like uh, child abuse and neglect and other problems in the family are and how they affect children as they grow up across the problems they develop with alcohol and drugs and later on in life the problems they develop with diseases prematurely in life and even early death. And all our research points to pointing out just how important it is to get the early years right in a child's life so that they have the best possible life course in front of them. What impressed does is also the importance to support the resilience. What do you mean with supporting resilience? Well, the impact that adverse childhood experiences can have on a child also depends on how much resilience they have and there are things that can be done to improve their, if you like, how they can resist how, how, the, how bad those effects of childhood adversity are. Things like uh, having uh, at least one adult in their life who can, they can go to and trust and talk to, uh, being embedded in their community, feeling that they have some power uh, over the things that are happening in their life, uh, being able to control their emotions. And building up those resilient factors at home and in school and in other settings mean that the, the harms caused by adverse childhood experiences can be less and they're less likely to go on to health harming behaviours and health problems in later life. And can you explain us something more about the link um, between uh, adverse childhood experience and non-communicable diseases? In the sense that here at uh, the RHN Congress and also at the European Public Health Congress, uh, non-communicable diseases are a major topic. When children experience adverse childhood experiences, um, they're more likely, partly as a way of coping with that, to do things like drink, uh, they may smoke, they may adopt an unhealthy diet, they have often less idea of respect for themselves and their investment in their future health. We know those things lead on to bigger risks for non-communicable diseases in later life uh, related to obesity, related to tobacco use, uh, such as cancers, coronary heart disease. So that the, that many of the initial causes, the beginnings of these problems can be found in early childhood uh, where people are being exposed to environments which give them a, a poorer chance of resisting calls to drink alcohol, resisting uh, temptations to use tobacco or to eat unhealthily. So the better we can set people on that early life course in a good way, the more chance they have of living a, a life free of non-communicable diseases. Yeah, so there are uh, wide uh, I mean, uh, perspective for promotion and uh, health promotion in this field. Yeah, it's absolutely critical that, for instance, parents, schools, politicians all understand the importance of investing in, in, in childhood um, and so that we don't just look because the non-communicable diseases are developing later in life at the solutions at that part of life. We look earlier on at life at what's causing these problems first of all and we tackle those now so we don't have an even bigger health problem in the years to come.